A few weeks ago, I heard the Lord say, Come deeper and pray, this is a time where you will see unprecedented demonstrations of my power being displayed. As I leaned in and listened, I heard the Lord say, In this hour, my people, I am calling you to go slow, live low, humility, surrender, and to listen. For in this hour, I am training your hands for war and your fingers for battle, Psalms 144 verse 1, in a deeper way. I say unto you, that in this hour, where I am arming you with strength and strategy, my fire is falling upon the secret place and the places of prayer. I am igniting hearts to come deeper into the place of co-laboring with me in prayer and intercession. I say unto you, that this is the hour that you must lay low and listen. I say unto you, that I am drawing you, my people, deeper and deeper into the secret place to pray. I am igniting the places where my people join together to pray and I am opening eyes to see and ears to hear, to hear and perceive that which I am revealing. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire is upon you, and I say unto you, that those who will make room to pray and those that will come into the quiet place to pray and to seek my heart and to intercede the secrets that I am revealing, O, oh, the manifestation of my glory and power in your midst. I am drawing you, my people, deep. I am drawing you into the depths. I am awakening you afresh to the invitation that is upon my people in this hour to Matthew 6 verse 6. But when you pray, go into your most private room, close the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Amp. I say unto you, that there are many of you in this hour, who are being called to surrender your calendar to me and make more room to come into the secret place and to pray. There are many of you that I am shifting and changing your schedule, and I am releasing you on prayer assignments on a scale that you have not experienced before. This is the hour to lay low and listen, for I am raising up a mighty army of people who know how to pray. I am raising up a people who live deep in humility before me and long to carry the groans, secrets and burdens of my heart in intercession. I say unto you, that this is the hour to arise in insight from the place of deep humility before me in the secret place and allow me to teach you as you pray, and I release my groanings to you. And in a similar way, the Holy Spirit takes hold of us in our human frailty to empower us in our weakness. For example, at times we don't even know how to pray, or know the best things to ask for. But the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede on our behalf, pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. Romans 8 verse 24, TPT Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Romans 8 verse 24, ESV I am raising up my victorious bride in this hour, who is coming deeper into Matthew 11 verse 12, from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffers violent assault, and violent men seize it by force as a precious prize. Amp, my people, hear my voice and listen to what I am speaking for in this hour. I am raising up my people in unprecedented ways, who are awakened to their authority in prayer. I say unto you that in this hour, the fire that I am releasing upon heart and prayer lives will be at a depth that you have not experienced before. The cry of travail, the groans that I am increasing in my people, the tears that are flooding from my people's eyes as they pray, I am bringing my people deeper into my heart in this hour, to carry my heart and my burdens and my groans, to see the greatest demonstrations of my power demonstrated in the earth. I am calling my people. The clarion call is being released. I am drawing you deeper in prayer, and it's time to come lower and to listen like never before. And in the clarion call I am drawing you, my people, together in prayer and I am working deeply within my bride, for I shall have a bride that is in one accord. I am working deeply, and my fire is moving and will continue to come with great increase to bring a unity and oneness in my people. This is the hour where my army is arising. And as my fire continues to fall in power, I am moving you, my people, into uncharted territories in prayer. I say unto you, you will be astonished by the power of prayer in this hour. 
You will be astonished by my miracle working power that will be demonstrated in your life and in the earth. I say unto you, that this is just the beginning of seeing unprecedented demonstrations of my power in the most accelerated answers to prayer that you have ever seen. I am increasing the glorious rumble and authoritative, violent intercession that is manifesting in prayer lives, rooms and places, unlike what you have seen before, my people. Oh, the impact of my power through prayer and intercession in this hour is going to usher in the awe of who I am in the lives of my people, my church and the earth. Oh, how my church and the nations will tremble at the mighty displays of my power. Yahweh is king over all. Everyone trembles in or before him. He rules enthroned between the wings of the cherubim. So let the earth shake and quake in wonder before him. Psalm 99 verse 1, TPT I say unto you, my people, that as you arise in this hour to pray and intercede, you are going to see the greatest shakings from the manifestation and demonstration of my power that you have ever seen. The groanings of intercession are getting louder and louder, and it is the birthing of my mighty explosive power in the earth and the lightning strikes of my power that is going to bring divine order and display my majesty in the earth. Can you hear the rumbling sound of my army arising in the earth? Can you hear the sound of the marching of my sons and daughters arising in their authority in prayer? And I say unto you, that the nations will shake at my power and the move of my spirit through my people, who are devoted to pray and being taught in a deeper way by me, how to pray in this hour, from the place of offense, not defense, and armed with strategy and increased divine sight and insight. My people, it is unprecedented. How am I going to move through your prayers and intercession in this new era will be unprecedented. The way that my power is going to be displayed through the groanings of my spirit, through my people, will bring sudden, explosive breakthroughs, shifts and divine rearrangements. I say unto you, that there are many answers manifesting now in this hour, by the power of my hand, to long prayed prayers. I am bringing forth, now, the answers to those prayers. Long prayed prayers in this season are meeting accelerated answers. I am raising up a people who are undignified in prayer. I am raising up a people to pray who are not bound by the fear of man, but ones who are possessed with my power and the revelation of my majesty and power, and who are overtaken by the awakening taking place to their authority in prayer. They are arising, taking me at my word, and will move, intercede and pray, however I lead, to confront and push back and see my spirit dismantle and overcome the kingdom of darkness and plans of the enemy with my light, my power and my victory.